McDonald's burgers pretty much don't rot, often looking exactly the same for five years, but not for the reasons you might expect. In case you don't know, McDonald's burger knows to survive for several months without changing in appearance, whilst other burgers rot into a moldy mess. However, the reactions have been expressed in controversy, and for good reasons. First, rotting into a moldy mess is natural, and second, no matter how many preservatives are in those things, if you go to McDonald's for healthy foods and you aren't joking, you need severe help. So why don't McDonald's burgers get moldy? Well, first, there are five possibilities. Preservatives, a lot of salt, little to no moisture, no air where the burger was prepared, or no mold spores ever contacting the burger, which of course isn't bloody likely. The burger was cooked where there is air, and mold is all around you no matter what. However, they were cooked, which would of course kill the mold, but only at first. See, the thing with microbes though is that they go by the saying, there's more where that came from, so they would quickly come back. Believe it or not, McDonald's buns aren't that different from buns you can buy at the store, and the patties, at least they claim to be 100% real beef. So there aren't any preservatives, or not at least any McDonald's will reveal. They could be made out of actual food though. No. Restaurant chain chef J. Kenji Lopez Alt, also the managing director of the blog Serious Eats, decided to put the McDonald's burger to the test by comparing one to nine burgers he had made in this kitchen. He set them out in open air, never directly touching them with his hands. A different combination for each of the burgers was used by mixing and matching McDonald's burgers with homemade patties and buns. He came back three weeks later and discovered that the McDonald's burgers had lost a quarter of their mass, indicating that they had dried out long before they could ever rot. McDonald's burgers used thin patties with a lot of surface area. The key was in the moisture levels. In fact, a McDonald's burger left in a plastic bag will rot in a week. This is the exact same principle of beef jerky. This by no means implies that you should eat McDonald's food. Their drinks far exceed the World Health Organization's recommendation of 25 grams of sugar a day. A large chocolate shake from McDonald's contains 120 grams. Many burgers and wraps contain half the recommended daily sodium levels, while medium fries make up a quarter of the fat. So don't eat at McDonald's every day. Once or twice a week wouldn't be too bad, but don't go every day. Remember, if mold and bacteria won't eat it, well, why should you? Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please go to like and subscribe if you haven't. See you on Wednesday.